Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. It is a Saturday, so I'm just going to be like an editorial. Um, and this is a little bit about what happened today, right? Um, so we know there's uh, the Ottawa Comic Con, and we have some people there we know, like, uh, I don't know, Jason Momoa is over there doing some uh, signings and photo shoots and things like that. And so there has been some things that have been alleged and so one came from live love loop at live love loop and then also there was one from i can't remember i don't have it right now but it was on Vero. um but so apparently a jl actor has seen snyder's cut of justice league they say they hate the theatrical cut i don't blame them the fans do as well they say it's long like need an intermission long and they say they hope someone leaks it so they 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 um and then uh, to beknownst me uh on unbeknownst to me was later down it says someone said jason Momoa. so and it makes sense because ottawa con is happening right now he's in front of fans fans are talking to him they're asking him questions of course and you know maybe he blurted out some things there is no quote there's no video there is no audio clip nothing like that so you can't really you know we can't put a little grain of salt to that but someone asked me and i and i kind of said it but i said that um if it was jason momoa that kind of confirms what i've heard right so i asked well what have you heard well I'm going to be carefully stepping over things here. Um, I don't have any sources, okay? I don't have any sources. I'm a guy out here in Hawaii. If anybody who would know better would probably be the people around Burbank right now, <laughs> okay? Um, but uh, I guess because I do these videos, people send me emails and letters or DM me, and uh, I just take them in, or even comments on my own videos. I just take them in, and I just look at them. And I'm just like, oh, okay, that's interesting. You know, it's no different from if I read a post on Reddit, right? Like, how do I know what's real or what's not, what's true and what's not? I can't. Um, it gives me hope for some of the things that I've read and people who've sent me, but it's just hope. It doesn't mean like I'm like, all right, it's happening or things or it's not happening. You know, it, there's so many things to gather, right? And so there's uh, some people who say, oh, I'm sharing this to you in confidence. And I'm like, okay, then I won't ever talk about it. I won't even relay. I don't even mention it. But there are some who says you can freely say this um and uh but don't mention our names i'm like okay well that's interesting all right but i won't talk about it because i don't want to make a rumor you know i don't want to blurt it out you know so but there has when i'm looking at the material that's been given to me and thank you um I there are things that are like no that's not possible well that's not possible and then the, you look at all these different people talking to me and there's like one or a few things that were match up and they're like well that's the same thing okay so if you this person says this that person says the exact same thing and this person says the exact same thing uh, and then with some revelations well maybe that's true all right put that aside and it's out in the open uh, someone tweeted about or something so okay let's put that in the forefront and so that's what i'm going to do here uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring out things that matches up from different sources but carefully utilizing the one person or the one group that says you are allowed to say this as long as you don't say my name i'm saying okay for that group of people who says that i'm just going to be focused on that and i'll keep the ones in confidence but because this the information this group had shared matches some of the stuff of the other people but they're saying i can say it then i'm gonna share it and because some of those things have already out so so I'm, that's why i'm carefully going and i was i was thinking i was thinking should i make this video i don't know but i'm gonna do it because it's already out there and we've already kind of talked about it so there's only a couple things okay don't get too excited you probably already know, but I'm just trying to uh, pull this thing together. Um, hopefully, uh, you get something out of it. So there's a couple things, and that is one: we already know uh, that there's a Snyder cut, right? I mean, I think I can honestly um, say that there is a cut out there, 
and it whatever you can call it an assembly cut you can call it whatever cut you want that's fine there is a cut that Snyder made to show uh, the Warner Brothers to show the distribution company to show the that this is what they're working on and please distribute it um, so that's what what has been shown right um, and with all that happened and everything happened in place um, there was that tweet or that uh, article that went out that says cruel unusual films has the cut um what i can f i've heard from this group of people and confirm is that not that confirm in real life i'm just confirming that what they've said that is that matches from what they've said to what was out in the open and it could be from the same source who knows so it could all be lies and all you know, all together but is that Zack snyder and cruel unusual films has the cut and that makes sense because they're the production company along with Axis, Rat Pack, Dune, uh, um, DC Films and all that. Um, and the distributor is Warner Brothers. So it could make sense that the production company has the cut of the film and they're in possession of the film. Now the one thing that I've heard is different, a little bit different, is that they're saying that uh, in that uh, message to be out before was that Cruel Unusual Films is finalizing the cut. They're putting out money to finalize the cut. I'd say, yeah, they're putting out money from what this group have told me. They're putting out the money, but they're not making the film themselves. So they're not finishing themselves. They're subcontracting. They've got subcontractors to do that, which is, you know, very familiar in this day and age where if you need a CG company to do CG work for you, you'll subcontract out uh, and get that company to work for you. So um, that's possible they may even do possibly international subcontracting which is a little bit cheaper um so there's that uh but that's been out there so that's why and that person says i am allowed to say that uh in, in terms of without mentioning anything else about that so that's cool um and it makes sense that Zack snyder has the cut right I mean, it, it is interesting that he's revealing pictures and post uh, screenshots, what look like screenshots from something that he possesses. If he ha doesn't have it, why does he have screenshots? Why does he have these edits? You can say, well, maybe he just has clips. That's fine. But is it interesting that he's only revealing the parts that was cut out from the film even though he has not seen the final film in which he would why would how he would would he know which things to release to the public to show as evidence of the Zack Snyder cut meaning someone had to tell him what's missing from that movie he must have heard it and or he's actively out in social media looking like oh so you didn't see that you didn't see that well I have that and here you go <laughs> this is what I have so um so keep that in mind that when he posts something he's actively knowing that that is not in the final movie even though he hasn't seen or has he, he has said and i would reason to believe that he would have said that he hasn't you know he has seen the final movie or he has not seen the final movie rather and maybe someone one of the actors and actresses that he's very uh close with uh, even the production people very close with has told him uh this this part was cut out this part was cut out this part was cut out so there there you go i mean that's just uh evident of that so yeah so zack snyder may be in possession of the film cruel unusual films may be in possession of the film uh they have it they just don't have the backing of the distribution company which is warner brothers to distribute it or maybe they even own a partial property of it because dc films is part of warner brothers even though that has been in a way disbanded and because the production company now moved from a, D a separate entity dc films to warner brothers pictures so in essence they own it now in a partial own now so there could be some of that and maybe that's the reason why Zack Snyder hasn't been saying anything more because maybe they've said now we own the property man we you cannot do that um or maybe they're gonna release it i don't know but in any case it's now in warner brothers pictures so before that the justice league cut from before maybe they don't own the cut that he made that was assembly cut because that was a production company uh outside of warner brothers 
is that what I'm saying? So I don't know the legalities of that, but that's interesting to think of, of to figure out how and how would cruel and unusual films have be in possession of a product and subcontract out what this group of people allegedly say um, and to finish the film. They just need to have the distribution partner to release it. And, and plus, you know, it's DC properties. You got Superman, Batman, you know, that's DC property, right? So they'll need some type of a legal way to release that cut. Um, so, and a lot of people are like, well, how do you know there is that actual cut, right? How do you know um, who said that, right? And that it's all hearsay, you know, Reddit and all these things have said, right? Um, and l some people have said, you know, they can't, a lot of these people can't come out in the open and say it. They can't come out in the open and say it. And we already know that, you know, we, we have um, uh, Ezra Miller who doesn't say it outright. He doesn't say any of that. Uh, he, a fan came up to him. He pointed at a shirt that says, I love Zack Snyder. Oh, I want, I love the Zack Snyder cut or whatever it was. Said. And he says, I agree. Um, so he just said that in a, as a, uh, to a fan. He didn't say it in an interview. He didn't, uh, and and maybe that's where the obligations lie, where he's obligated to the the studio to not say that, um, support that in any fashion, um, to the actual media, uh, to you know on the record. So, but he feels if he can, he, if he will, he will off the record he feels that, that's off the record hey it's a, a fan who comes here he's not a news reporter he's not a blogger he's just asked a simple thing and i'm just gonna say yeah um and that has happened before siren hines also has done that he has uh actually really outspoken because i i guess you feel that he's you know his character is gone he's probably not going to work for dc or warner brothers anymore he's he's done some incredible work with the terror that amc uh original uh s series and he's he's old enough and and you know he he said it out right it was probably one of the first ones out of the gate that actually was protesting in a way so um, if you remember Siren Hines had said this uh, it was at the December 2017 Ace Comic Con uh, he said uh, this that the the movie the Justice League movie that was in the theaters that wasn't the movie I worked so hard on we hope the director's cut comes out because it was better than the movie in the theaters okay so according to the the person, uh, Siren Hines and his people were visibly upset, visibly upset. Uh, the rest of the cast, however, uh, what's up with the Snyder Cut? Ray Fisher looked to me with a big smile, wide eyes, and did the sign, my lips are sealed. The other smiled and said, sorry, we can't talk about it, okay? Uh, and then with a polite smile, I wish I could tell you, but I'm under strict rules, so I can't, right? So these people, uh, the actors and actresses, and we knew, that we know this, it's, uh, this is out in the open, uh, that they've said this, they've looked visibly upset. Siren Hines, right there, mentions, we hope the director cut comes out, because it was better than the movie in the theaters. That means he saw the cut. So he was there, he saw the cut, uh, the Snyder's cut, um, and he can actually compare it to the movie in theaters. We've, we've known that already. Fabian Wagner. Fabian Wagner? I, I, I want to say it's Fabian, Fabian Wagner. Um, he said this. He is the cinematographer for Justice League uh, before he was let go. Uh, well, before he was you know, gone, Joss Whedon got his own guy. Um, this one says this. This one, the media theatrical cut, was even shorter than I expected. So there are scenes that aren't in there. I really hope we get to see a director's cut, which will give us everything that we shot that didn't make it in. What I love about his you know, Parenti Snyder's director's cut is they are long, but he takes his time to tell the story. I've never watched any of his director's cut and thought, this is long. Whether they are three hours long or three hours and ten minutes, they always seem to go quick. They always seem to go quick. So that's what he had said about that. Uh, Fabian Wagner uh, really 
I think he's seen it too. So judging from this, he's seen it too. He knows what was cut, what was a, and plus he's the guy who actually helped shoot that stuff. So he knows exactly what was not there anymore, right? Um, and interestingly, this guy uh, who interviewed him was Aaron Couch of The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, I'll get to that. I just noticed that now, but I'll, I'll get to that. Um, so in any case, you see these actors and actresses saying that uh, you're, you're talking about that. We know what Jay Oliver had said, uh, Zack Snyder's original plan. Um, that, and then we go to what uh, we had that tweet out today, Live Love Loop, saying this, that it was long. Uh, it was a long, like it needed an intermission long. Uh, it was, it's a long movie. Now we know that Justice League was supposedly supposed to be part one and part two when they scrapped part two. Um, what if they had combined it? You know, it, it could have been that intermission long as how, how they were comparing Justice League to Seven Samurai. Seven Samurai was not a one part and two parts, but it was chapterized as part one and part two, but within the same film, and they had an intermission break. It was a long movie. If you go back and watch Seven Samurai, it was essentially a part one and part two. So if Jason's Momoa, Jason Momoa is at AutoCon and they said it was Jason Momoa, he could be saying this. And that kind of confirms what I've heard from other people, these other group of people who sent me that Jason Momoa also saw the Snyder Cut. He was actually um, able to see it. Um, and now that comes to the point, like, see it like now or before? Like, what, which part of it had he seen before? Um, or did he just see it now and he wants it to leak out? Well, the one I've heard... Is that he's seen it recently um, he's seen it recently in addition to them seeing it before the one where I can say that he definitely say seen it before and had great thoughts about it was from Aaron Couch himself from the Hollywood Reporter had tweeted this out Momoa says he has seen Justice League and calls it the greatest film in the world leaving tonight to start Aquaman. Now that's no surprise. A lot of actors and actresses are going to say, this is the greatest thing in the world. Uh, they, they have a lot of, um, you know, the, this movie is the best movie, uh, you know, things like that. They have to say that. It's like a publicity, you know. You, they have to talk really good about the movie. Um, they have to talk about how great it was and things like that. They have to, you know, kind of suck up to the studio. Or they're getting paid for it. Why not, right? So, um, it is interesting. So, when you look at that, and Jason Momoa is saying that, and you look at the time, though, look at the time. When this was tweeted out on March 29th of 2017, March 29th of 2017, the movie was released in November. What happened between that time? Well, one thing big that happened was the reported by the Hollywood Reporter that Zack Snyder steps down. But the date on the Zack Snyder steps down, the reported one, is May 22nd of 2017. Sure, he could have regarded stepped down before or after. But one thing's for certain is that Joss Whedon came around this time and started doing reshoots and started editing all the way down to November. So what did Jason Momoa see? He could not have seen the, the, the Whedon cut in March and said that that is the greatest film in the world. What did he see? He saw a completed cut, and it maybe the CG is not there, but a completed cut enough for him to enjoy and see what the movie actually is, and that is the Snyder Cut before Zack Snyder left. So when people say there is no Zack Snyder Cut, there is definitely a Zack Snyder Cut, and that's just more evidence of that, right? And with that information that Jason Momoa has, that he could have, he saw it, maybe even saw it again, um, because who knows, Cruel Unusual Films probably has the possession of a copy, um, that he's able to feel or to see what parts were cut out, right? Just like how Fabian Wagner uh, realizes that, uh, Siren Hines realizes that. 
he said this uh, on Collider, and this was in uh, November of 21. So November 21, that's after the Justice League came out, right? He said, the challenging part is the Justice League story is only about a weekend in Arthur Curry's, Arthur Curry's life. Fans might be like, why is he that grumpy? Why is he hiding up there? We had it all planned out. A lot of things got cut. But it's not my movie. It's a huge movie introducing three new characters and or and for myself and the Flash and Cyborg. There was a lot that was there we just couldn't get in. It could have been two movies. We had some stuff with William Dafoe, the whole Atlantean part about me being this reluctant king. There was no need for it being you're going to see it in Aquaman uh, because you're going to see it. It's an Aquaman movie. It's it's not an Aquaman movie. It's a Justice League movie. But of course you see that. Uh, he puts it right there. It's a huge movie introducing three new characters and for myself and the Flash and Cyborg. There was a lot there which just couldn't get in. It could have been two movies two movies now Fabian Wagner had said it could have been three hours three hours and ten minutes and he could just be spilling out numbers at that point hourly numbers but we know Zack Snyder makes long movies this could have been a two-part like he said seven samurai think about it seven samurai was a two-parter it was one movie with two parts within the movie it's a long movie this could have been two movies. And who are the people who are actively saying, uh, allegedly protesting in their own way? Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, and Jason Momoa. The three people, the three new characters are introduced. Those are the most that are cut. Of course, they are pissed. <laughs> uh, all that shooting, all that material, all that stuff they had to act upon, gone. Of course they are pissed, right? Now, Ray Fisher tweeted out a picture of him in the football field. That's not in the movie. And he calls it Borg Life. He's in celebration of Justice League. But that, in a way, in his own way, protesting as well. We know what Ezra Miller thinks already. And Aquaman, Jason Momoa, the, he's, he can say it. He's saying it out. He's not saying it in front of a camera. He's not saying it in an interview with a blogger. He's saying it amongst some fans. Fans, right? And so that's not recorded. That's off the air, off, you know, things. And yeah, sure, maybe it's made up. I don't know. But it seems uh, it seems like from what I've heard that it is true, uh, that they are displeased and, and, you, and they really want this thing to come out. They almost want it to leak out. There might even be... Uh, in you know, in support of a certain director, in order to get it out, in order to get it, uh, maybe hopefully, uh, someone would leak it in this sense, right? It, it kind of reminds me of Ryan Reynolds, who may have been responsible in leaking that Deadpool footage so that the studio would make it, right? So there are things happening here. There is, uh, it's possible things are happening in the background. We're not the only ones fighting for it. Um, the cast and crew are fighting as well. Now, it may not be Henry Cavill. It may not be Gal Gadot. It may not be Ben Affleck. Uh, I find them to be very much politically uh, able to dance around it. I'm sure they're not as happy as well. Um, I mean, Henry Cavill liked the direction that it was going in. Uh, although, in an interview, when he didn't have the mustache, you can clearly see he said that Superman was already going into that direction of the confident Superman that was going to be that direction as well. So he most probably is unhappy about the whole mustache situation, right? Ben Affleck, I don't know. Maybe he's done. Wonder Woman, she's she's got a new film coming out. She doesn't want to jeopardize her own uh, reputation with being uh, uh, the person fighting the studio. So she's probably not going to say anything. Henry Cavill, too. He doesn't want to jeopardize that as well. Although he's very good at the pol politics of it. Um, Ray Fisher doesn't look like he has anything right now, but he's still trying to play it cool. Yet you can tell his pro he's protesting with the I love Zack Snyder and everything like that. Um, he's very underneath, underline. Uh, Jason Momoa is also 
I think he's a little bit more outspoken um, and he's actually maybe even one of the few who's really, really championing it uh, to get it out. So that's what I've heard as well. And that's what I want to talk about is that the situation is that we're not fighting alone. They're fighting for us. Uh, They haven't forgotten. Um, I hope uh, they haven't forgotten. And I think they're as much wanting to, uh, everybody to see the cut that Zack Snyder made, not just us. So um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with what what will uh, what can happen with the director's cut. Um, and like I said, the the studio has to go to Zack Snyder because he is owning the full share of the director's cut credit. That he is the one to say, okay, you can release my cut. But the studio has to okay it. Um, he has to okay it. But the thing is that I'm really, really scratching my head on is who is the studio now? Now that Deceased Films is uh, in a way disbanded, is now a production company. But before that, it was DC Films, Rat Pack Dudes, Axis. We know what happened to Rat Pack. And, of course, Cruel Unusual Films. And if... Cruel Unusual Films has possession of it. All they have to do is finish it. Um, They just have to convince Warner Brothers to release it. Um, There are people in my comments like Paulo uh, who has said that there may be talks of actually re-releasing it in theaters. And if that's true, that is incredibly awesome. And I cannot be more happy. I mean, I told Kenny today... When he said that, wouldn't it be crazy if Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck and Zack Snyder or whoever amount, it could even be the three, uh, Ezra, Ray, and Jason, who's championing this, who allegedly championing it, uh, when Zack Snyder comes out on San Diego Comic Con and says, we're going to Zack Snyder, I'll be pinching myself because I'm like, I don't believe this is true. What the heck is going on with my life? Is this true? I'm going to be... Ch- pinching myself so damn hard because I'm trying to wake myself up from that dream (laughs) if that actually comes true right so I'm there with you guys I really want to see this to um, happen Uh, and I know I get a lot of things a lot of messages and DMs and private stuff uh, that people send to me and I I want to believe it all man I really do um, so, but I'm only going to take parts of it that I've heard from that connects with other people's parts of it, uh, and whatever that's came out on social media and on articles that, that I find to be more compelling because there are, you know, multiple sources that say the same thing. When you see multiple sources saying the same thing, then in most cases that may actually have more story to that or possible truth to that than things that one person has said and nobody else has said that thing, right? Um, and they could all be true and they could all be false. But for the most part, I think the the cast and crew saying these things are probably true. They are not, Some most of them are not going to go on record about it. Maybe some of them don't care anymore. Um, but but I think it's all true, and it just makes more to the point of the fact that someone who says Zack Snyder cut doesn't exist, you're out of your mind. I'm sorry. Uh, it does exist. It may not be finished, but it does exist, and they have seen it. The cast and crew has seen it, and someone, it possibly crew in usual films, is in possession of it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.